Yo, what up guys, Brief 5D here and this is day 14 of the Noob to Pro series season 2, a series that we started with the sole aim of reaching Ultra Nightmare Clambos as soon as possible without an unkillable team. Yes, we'll be building an old school Clambos team in this series. So in order to get to that, we have to finish the early game, mid game and then finally end game. So welcome aboard if this is the first video you're watching in this series, there are many that have been posted each day up till day 14 right now. So you enjoy them watch them they are short all right in this update i wanted to cover what has happened today in terms of the noob to pro update the big news after getting our kill to level 60 and farming the campaign at brutal 12 3 we've been talking about oh i can't have energy oh i can't get the next six star we've been complaining a lot finally it's done we have our next six star so that's um one two three four and where is the fifth guy five that's the last five star champion we have to put together to add to this one, two, three, four. And we have our next six star on the account. Now, this is just halfway done because we still need to make another six star. Basically, I'm trying to do Kale, I'm trying to do Deliana, and I'm trying to do what's his face now, Terrell. Those are the three champions I'm taking to 60 before we can start enjoying this account for sure. So, with that out of the way and done for, we will be ready to beat any content that the game throws out at us at least to level 15 level 16 so we can start getting good gear especially the dragon we still have a frozen bouncy sitting right there i need to remind you guys and i did ask which champion should be going to 60 i didn't get much response so tomorrow once the cvc starts i'm not doing it tonight you can see me leaving this one at 40 is because i want to do it during cvc so I can get those personal rewards or we can even maybe win the CVC, help my clan with every way I can in terms of points. I did take the 3 stars to 4 star, but the 4 stars are not taken to 5 star, I'll wait till CVC to even then I'll make my 60s tomorrow. Alright, another thing that I'm waiting to do tomorrow is books. Yes, I'm waiting for books, I'm waiting for everything in terms of the forge, I'm holding on to everything and let CVC start. If you've not logged into raid today, log in and get your awesome rewards that the game gives us for the summer splash event or that is currently going on or the summer Delirian um, trials that is going on right now. I've talked about it in a previous video, check it out. So awesome rewards that we'll be using to farm more tomorrow and maybe tomorrow maybe almost get another 6 star ready to go <laughs> with all this energy that we have. So our problem for energy is solved right now. So I'm waiting, looking forward to CVC. This account is also hosting a clan. Yes, this noob to pro is the leader of the clan that we created and we're currently full maximum members. If you do want to join the clan, join the discord, send a message right there and we'll tell you when a spot is open because immediately after CVC ends, we'll be splitting this clan into two difficulties, the early game and the end game players so we can have a lot of more slots for people to join. So if you want to join the clan, join the discord and we'll notify you once we do that split and everybody can join the easier one or the uh, end game nightmare, ultra nightmare clan which we'll be splitting into. So that's something to look forward to. It's kind of exciting because this will be our first CVC win. Yes, I just called it a CVC win because we'll be going hard for it. Of course, I would never tell anybody to spend money in the game in terms of pushing resources to win CVC. I'll never require that um, minimum, tell you to, you must reach a particular minimum for clans. I'll never tell you to do that, but there are clans who do that and they are, they are fine. They, they are competitive enough to set such standards. If you're not okay with those standards, you go find different clan that doesn't have such standards in terms of requirements of points you need to reach for cvc but what i expect from most players that like i put in the message right there is cvc is coming tuesday save your energy skill tomes arena refuse even your faction war battles don't fight them once the reset happens so that's the list that is expected for you to put into the game the next day to reach 20,000, 30,000, 40,000 depending on the level of the game where you are so why there is no cvc limits if you save your resources, you will reach at least a reasonable amount to help your clan show that you're putting in effort. Not stay at 1,000 or even up to 500, you know, do your minimum of 1,000 and get, get all the rewards. 
it's not a nice one so we'll not be setting any limits for this clan for now now i expect the end game account the ultra nightmare and the nightmare clan to always have limits the early game accounts you don't expect people to have you know resources to reach these limits so for end game accounts ultra nightmare nightmare those clans i expect them to always have cvc limits so that's something we might look into into the end game account all right you guys let me know your inputs on this one i'm always open to discussions about it on the discord that's something i thought i would wanted to put out there the next thing i have on my list is something else that happened on the account besides this um champion we currently have at level or the next 60 that we're currently doing i was able to push this arena not the 1v1 arena i was able to push my way out of bronze in 3v3 arena it's extremely easy because you find easy teams like this to beat because everybody sets almost everybody sets one man defenses in bronze one so it wasn't a difficult thing although during reset i had to spend about 100 gems to hit this refresh button i was refreshing i was finding difficult teams full man teams like this i'll hit the refresh again till i find easy teams like this these are the ones i fought Till I was able to get out of bronze one and enter bronze two. Why did I spend that hundred gems to sacrifice to get me to bronze two? Is because I was not getting enough um, gold bars to buy Drexter fragments every day. It seems like whenever the reset happens, I will not have enough points to buy it. I have to farm um, my the tributary arena but there are difficult teams to beat people are not setting weak defenses especially in the weekends everybody has strong defenses in the weekend so it's understandable now during the week it's fine you can see weak defenses but i was getting difficult time buying this every day so the best thing for me to do was to come to bronze 2 where it will be much easier for me to do it now to stay in bronze 2 that's an entirely different ball game altogether so i will see this weekend if it will be possible for me to stay in bronze 2 getting there is one thing staying there is something else entirely different so we'll find out but before i get out of bronze 2 at least i'll know i'll be able to gather enough arena i mean enough um, gold bars right here to save in case i don't meet up one day i'll not spend it on energy yet all right uh, let's accept i have excess of it so if you're currently happy being in bronze one setting your weak defenses i'm not setting a weak defense right now because i don't want to fall out of bronze two normally i'm supposed to set weak defense but i'm not doing it right now because i don't want to fall out of bronze two so, although this is still a weak team and we have strong teams that can always knock it down i just put any champion i currently have leveled to 50 40 30 that's what i put in my 3v3 arena because i do not have enough teams to make it happen so that's the update on that nothing else is happening for the clan boss no updates in doom tower arena 1v1 we did manage to stay in gold one and got the rewards for you know this the rewards that when it reset happened right we got the rewards for staying in gold one so that's a comfortable one we did fall out though and i climbed back up by refreshing whenever i see weak teams like uh, no that's not a weak team even if it's a single man i'm not gonna fight that it's a trap it's a trap <laughs> so we are looking for weak teams to make us maintain our position in gold one check out the gold bars though 109 arena gold bars and i'm still waiting for cvc before i spend that on the accuracy tree like i already told you guys it will require me at least i think 30 or 30 more gold bars or 40 to make it happen 3v3 arena i mean 3v3 what do you call it cvc is coming up so it will be ready by tomorrow i'll be able to do this by tomorrow get the accuracy on my frozen banshee even before she's level to 40 50 and ready to join the battle all right that's the only update i had for you guys on this note to pro the upgrade from bronze one to bronze two and also me getting level 60 champions i've not been able to do much because i can't touch this energy yet like i said so i'm really really looking forward to that cvc now you see me doing all this on the account waiting for something the next day to happen before i take effect before i do actions is because on the previous noob to pro we didn't wait when we get something we do it when we get something we didn't want to wait for the next day we didn't look at tournaments and events at all we just push the account push the account to get the habitat missions done but on this account since it's going to be the, an account that i want to be using for a long time i don't want to make rash decisions like that and begin to spend energy when 3v3 i mean i mean when cvc is coming up um i, I plan ahead on this account i'm being more 
conscious and careful with how I'm spending resources on this account. On previous accounts, on the Noob to Pro Season 1, I'll just go in there. Once I get a great all medals, I just use it. I don't wait for CVC because we were not interested in using that account for a very long time. We just wanted to get the Abita missions done. So I'm being a little bit different on this one. That's why I'm planning things out, saving my resources. Even on the other account, I would have claimed this <laughs> one. But on this account, although the red dot is annoying me, I cannot claim it until I'm out of Arena Tokens. That's when I'll hit this claim button. So I hate the red dot. I'm looking at it right. Something is new. But hey, I know that it's <laughs> Arena Refill. And I'm going to wait till I can claim it. Even this one. On the other account, I just come here. I click claim, 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 clear everything off and move on <laughs> and log out. But here I'm being more careful. All right, the last update I have or the last news I have for you guys, a lot of people or two guys have indicated interest on letting me pull your shards on Friday because this Friday is coming up with a um, 2x on ancient shard event. So we'll be pulling all our noob to pro season 2 shards on Friday. That's when the event launches. So we're expecting epics and all that. So I have two guys who also started the noob to pro series on their own accounts and they want me to pull their shots so watch out for that video why i'm saying it is because if you want to also me to pull your shots on that day join the discord send the message and all that on friday we'll pull not just the new to pro now but my main account and viewers shots for the first time or i think for the second time on the channel that'll be an awesome one to see whether the new to pro gets luckier than you all right, so I look forward to that Friday shot pool. It will be epic. It will be great. Shot pool videos are always crazy. I'm looking forward to it. Now, speaking of shards, there is a champion guarantee champion event that has launched or that is going to launch tomorrow. You know, during CVC, they always launch a 10x. Now, this guarantee champion event is offering Ragash level 60. You see how fast I switched to it? Is because I have this account open. This is my main account, and that's where I'm hoping or looking. Maybe I want to pull Ragash. Now I'm putting up it up to you, the, the community. You guys are the ones who know best. I don't know this champion much. I did check out his kit. It looks like an awesome defense champion that I want on my team. And this is an opportunity for you to not get a duplicate champion, especially if you're an end game account like my main account. So why am I talking about this champion? Is because this um, guarantee champion event. I've been waiting for it. The previous um, event, I skipped it on it because it was um, Kandafron and I already had Kandafron. And this time around, is this something I want to skip on? Check out that Ancient Shard uh, storage. 220 totally free to play Ancient Shard gathered because I skipped on 2x, 2x. I skipped on two, two different events that required me to pull Ancient and I have this amount. So is this the right time for me to pull for Ragash? Because this is what I've been talking about. Pull your shards when there's a guaranteed champion that you know you must get that champion at 150. Then along the way, you might get another legendary also. So I'll put it in the community poll. You guys can vote towards it. If you want me to pull my shards tomorrow to get Ragash, 150 exact shards. Check out, even after pulling 150, I'll still be left with change enough to pull for um what do you call it 2x on ancients so you guys decide should i pull for ragash or should i keep this on 220 for friday friday can go crazy 220 plus everybody's shots so decide 150 tomorrow or 220 on friday let me know what you think about this one in the comments i'm really really, really looking forward to it because it's not a champion that i like a draco or like um prince kaima or you know one of those huge ones where i'm like go crazy like i want him so bad i'll tell you right now it's not a champion like i'm i want really really bad i know he's not a bad champion he's an awesome champion he's new and anytime you can get an opportunity to not get a duplicate in raid that's a win as long as it's not a totally trash champion so i'll not go i'll not say he's my top 10 champions that i want in raid he's not so that's why I see me being a little bit hesitant. If it was one of my top 5 or top 10, I wouldn't even put it to you in the equation form. I will go ahead and pull my shots tomorrow. So let me end it there. I've talked about it too much. I'm looking forward to your comments and let me know what you think about this one in the comments. I'll see you tomorrow for either the shot pool video <laughs> or our old school normal noob to pro update where we take our champions to 60 and begin to push content. Good night, guys. Like and subscribe.